Hey guys. Okay, so for the color wheel, uh, those of you that have uh, came by, you got two big pieces of paper like this. You got a paint palette. Um, hopefully you, uh, you were able to get paint. If not, you need to come back. The paint pumps are ready. So you'll get the um, yellow, red, and blue. So that's the only colors we're gonna use for right now. You're also gonna need to find a large, uh, something circular, uh, or as I'd say maybe not large, maybe a medium and then a smaller circle uh, to trace. You're also gonna need a cup of water um, and you're gonna need your paint brushes uh, that you picked up when you were here. Now there are two, <coughs> excuse me, there are two types of paint brushes that you have in your, um, that you picked up. So you have what's called a flat. These two are flat. These are smaller flats, but you have different size flats um, in, your, um, in your collection. And then you also have what's called a round. So a round, it's literally round and it's more pointed on the tip. Um, you can try different ones out as you're doing this project and find out which one's more comfortable. And it may change as we go through different projects, which ones you like for different things. So um, that's the ones that you have and you can pick out what you would like. You're also gonna need a uh, couple of paper towels, a pencil, and um, I believe that's it. Okay, so on one of your large pieces of paper, I want you to fold it in half. This one I've already folded in half, but I want you to fold that one in half. And this is what you're going to use to put your, um, draw your circle templates, okay? Let me scoot this up so you can see it. Okay. So I'm gonna take my largest circle that I have, and I'm gonna put one at the very top, and I'm gonna trace around it. I would do it in pencil, that way if you mess up, um, you, you can erase it. You're gonna come to the very bottom and you're gonna put one directly below the one that you did at the top. And the reason that we're doing this is because we have a color wheel um, and it needs to stay in a certain order. So I'm gonna draw my, my third color, I mean my third circle there, I'm gonna put one across from it. I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna put another circle here. And then I'm gonna put another circle here. Now, the colors that we just drew for the color wheel are a combination of primary colors and secondary colors. So there are three primary colors and three secondary colors that you're gonna use the larger circle template. Um, if you, around your house, a larger circle template size is if you have a Tupperware container that's about this size, um, if you have one that's a little bit, um, a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, that will work. Um, and then we're gonna use the smaller template that you find, uh, which this can be a bottle cap. Uh, this is off of our paint cans, uh, our paint containers. Um, you can also use like a Gatorade top Probably a water bottle or a Coke bottle top is too small, so I wouldn't use those. Or if you have a, um, some people have little um, Tupperware containers that are about this, si this round size uh, to trace. Now these that we're gonna trace are gonna go in between. Now they won't fit exactly, and I don't want you to overlap them, so you're gonna put them outside of, outside of the circle. So I have one that's there. This one, if it'll fit in between those two circles, that's fine. But another thing, I don't want you to, again, I don't want you to overlap. I also don't want your circle to hang off the page, okay? Um, because that defeats the whole purpose of mixing the color and only painting half of it. So it needs to be there. If you don't have enough room to put it in between these two, you can bring it on the inside here. It just depends on what your space is. Going to put another one down here. Now what I'm drawing now are going to be what's called the tertiary colors, which are the third colors in our uh, color wheel. That's what tertiary means. Now this one, this one it fits a little bit and it gets kind of close to the edge of the paper. So we're going to do that one. I just have to remember when I'm actually painting that um, not to get it 
uh, be real careful when I'm painting those three. And then I'm gonna do my last one here. Okay, so that's my circles, okay? These are the tertiary colors. You need to make sure that for every two larger circles, so let's say we put, and I'm just gonna just say blue here, and I'm gonna say yellow. I hope you can read this in pencil. Sometimes I know on my cam document camera in class you can't read it. So then this color is gonna be green. This color, red and blue, make violet. And red and yellow make orange. Okay, so I just briefly labeled those. If you label them, you need to make sure that you put the colors where you've labeled them. If you mess up and you do this in pencil, it's an easy erase. But what you don't want to do is you don't wanna do blue here, yellow here, and red here. If you do that, you're gonna have to um, either buy a white paint to paint over those, or you'll have to flip this over and start over on another side. Um, just one second, let me grab my color wheel and I'll show you show you what we're doing. Okay, so this is just a pocket color wheel I have, okay? So with mine, we're gonna start with blue at the top, and when you mix blue and green, you get blue-green. I know some people think of this color either as teal or turquoise. It's actually called blue-green. So then we have my green, and then you have my yellow here, so you you're gonna have yellow-green, which is what shows on the color wheel here. Now, I did not have my in-person students label theirs first. If labeling helps you um, to know where to put everything, that's perfectly fine. Um, it just, whatever, whatever is easier for you. So now we have yellow and orange and we mix together and we're gonna have yellow orange. And it is a hyphenated word. And if you notice, as we go around and do all of the tertiary colors, they're all hyphenated words. They all contain the first um, primary color and the secondary color. Okay, so if I mix red and orange, I get red-orange. If I mix red and violet, I have red-violet. And if I mix blue and violet, I have blue-violet. Okay, I'm also gonna put in here in bigger letters, color wheel, because this is the assignment that we're working on. Okay, all right, so that is the first part of the assignment. Um, I've got my color wheel drawn. I know where I'm gonna draw everything. Um, if you don't have one of these little pocket color wheels, they're really, um, they're really neat. Uh, they, they may help you later on uh, on the project following this one. So um, I think you could get them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or you could order them off Amazon, but they're really handy. It has this wheel that turns because it tells you what happens if you add white, if you add black, if you add blue, if you add red. So it tells you a lot of different things. The back, it shows the, the um, tints, tones, and shades. So that's kind of handy to see what that looks like. Um, so this is just a really handy little tool. Um, I didn't give, I wasn't able to purchase these for everybody in class, but these would be, I would love to be able to do that because they're very handy. Okay, so I'm gonna do another video and I'm gonna start the painting. So uh, stay tuned for that, that's coming next.